been telling you, media owner, senior counsel, political analyst, man about town. He comments just about on anything. Let's ask him what he thinks of this one. Abdullah Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi, a.k.a. the Grand Mullah. Good to see you. Same, thank you very much. Karibu Sana. So you, you saw that story. What do you think, man? It's been going on for a while. What do you think? Is it someone jumping the gun? Is it greed? What are your thoughts? I think the best way to sort out this, the matter is uh, before the International Court of Justice. So I think the earlier the court decides the matter definitively, the better for both countries. Yeah, but in the meantime, the people exploring out there or sending explorers. I think anybody who does that, whether it's Kenya or Somalia, will do in bad faith because since both of them have submitted to the jurisdiction of the court, the court will definitively make a determination on that. And I think the best way to resolve a, such kind of disputes is always through the ICJ. In the meantime, there's bad blood brewing between the two countries. We will watch and see. I mean, we are spectators. Yeah. Yes. Grand Muller, take a look at this tweet. Uh, Monica, what is the tweet? That tweet from... Okay. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So on Monday, where are you? Yeah. Let me read that real quick. On Monday, I will write a confidential letter to the CJ and disclose to him which judges were bribed and how much money they got and by whom one of the judges was bribed through a member of parliament and money taken from the branch of a local bank in Isili. Monday came and went. Where's that letter? <laughs> no, uh, we wrote the letter actually today. Uh, and uh, we told the just Chief Justice that we will not write the letter we envisaged because we are filing a complete petition for the removal of the judges and uh, it will take us two weeks, you know, to compile our evidence and witness statements. Uh, so we have written the letter to the CJ this morning and uh, in two weeks' time we will yeah, file... But uh, tell me something, you wrote that on Monday. Obviously you mu you're very emotional. You no, no, must... no, no. There's no emotions. We have all the evidence on this matter. So why didn't you present it on Monday? We realize that it's not a letter that suffices, you must file a petition under the constitution. So we are filing the petition. Uh, my client has the evidence, we are compiling the witnesses and we'll do it. And you have the names of the judges? Yes, we have the name of the judges. You have the monies that were given? I don't have the money with me because... <laughs> <laughs> Which judges? No, no, let's wait for the petition. I mean, we will... I mean, it's not an idle talk. I mean, we are not making... To, I didn't say that to make the news. I say that to address a very fundamental problem this country is facing. Yeah, but you, you know, when you say something, you usually follow through. We are, we are following through. I mean, it's, the removal of a judge is a constitutional process. I mean, it's not, you know, it's, it, it's not something very light. It's a weighty matter. So it is for my clients to present the evidence before the JAC. Mm. The JAC will deliberate. Yeah. They will form a committee to look into it. If we satisfy on a prima facie case, they will submit to the president and then the president will appoint a tribunal. The Supreme Court has a specific amount of judges, one to seven. How many of them are you saying are corrupt? How many of them are you specifying? I don't know. In how this matter? No, no, in this matter we are complaining against four judges. Four out of seven? Yes, yes, but uh, two of them on corruption cases, on corruption evidence, because we will bring evidence that two of them were involved specifically in a corruption case. The two others we are complaining on incomp incompetence. That judgment they wrote, it's not worthy of even mm. a first year law student. So you say four, but two on corruption. Two on corruption. Male or female? I don't know. Grand Mullah. Mm. Male or female? I don't know. I mean, what I can tell you is that the judge we are complaining or which we will file the petition are Kenyans. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, the sex it doesn't matter really. Yeah. Yes. I mean, we'd like to know so that we can narrow it down for ourselves. I mean, there are there, there are four judges who are complaining: two on corruption, two on gross incompetence. And uh, in two weeks' time, we will file the petition and we'll give it to the JC. Yes. Yeah. Well, how come? How come every time you win a case, you're quick to compliment the courts, and when you lose, you're the first one to cry like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> we lose cases every day. I mean, I have no problem. I lose cases, I mean. But I when I lose a case, I have no problem if we lose on the law. Because sometimes you, sometimes you take a, a case that's weak. Sometimes you, you take a case that's very strong. 
And in a civilized country, you can even predict the chance of your success, you know, 70%, 80%, 30%. Mm. But throughout my life, when nobody could speak about corruption in the judiciary, nobody, yeah. yes, I spoke about it. I bought the consequences of that. They are, I was the first lawyer, the courts or some judges have collectively determined that I cannot appear before them. <laughs> There's even no time for, it was a very short time that mm. matters in my, from my law firm could not even be filed in the registry because the chief justice then gave an order that Ahmed's law firm should not file. So I've come a long way. It's not something I just talk about. Yeah. yeah. But you Listen know, but they, they, they see you as a bully, you know No, that. no, no. But you see, I, everybody knows, everybody knows that if someone screws up a case I'm doing, deliberately takes bribes, and I think I can get evidence, we will go through it. We will go through the process. Mm -hmm. We will never, I have never kept quiet about it. But there are thousands of cases we lose. And if, if you lose on the law, if you lose on the merit, you have no problem. But I have never allowed in my practice, and I will never allow, that for a judge to think that because he is a judge, he will pocket some money in his pocket, then pretends we are fools, and then does what they want to do. That will never happen. Yes, we must stand up. And I tell lawyers every day, you know, we are in the rot we are because lawyers keep quiet. Lawyers, you know, get intimidated. Yeah. I mean, you see a judge taking bribe, you, do, you keep quiet. It never happens with me. It will never happen with me. Maybe you should have been the CJ. No, no, I, I've made that choice long time ago, not to become a judge. And I'm comfortable where I am. But you see, as a Kenyan, there are many roles you can play without joining the bench or joining government. There are many reforms we need to do. We can't just keep quiet. That's the point I'm making. Mm. That's the point I'm making. Yeah. That I don't give a damn whether it's the Supreme Court or not, whether it's the Chief Justice or not. If you do a case and you have evidence that a judge has been compromised, it is stupid for you to keep quiet. Mm. Yes. Graham Muller, we have a lot to talk about uh, in a few minutes, okay? So just hang around. Do you mind? Do you have a case to answer or anything? No, no, no. Okay. I will have my case next week. Okay. <laughs> Grand Muller. <laughs> wow, this man is a firing already. Firing already.